If you're looking for a way to bind pages for a book without doing sewing, a good alternative is to bind the book with staples and hot glue. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do that. You'll notice here that the book is divided into sections of pages. So the first thing you really need to do is to make those sections. You'll start by folding papers in half. Make sure that you have a consistent amount of pages in each group. I used five sheets of paper in each section. To staple each section, you're gonna to open to the middle and you need something soft to cushion the staples. So I'm using a little white eraser. Make sure it's lined up, open the stapler and line it up right on the fold and push the staple down. Then you'll see you can just peel the eraser off the back and then you can use either your fingers or another tool to close the staple down. It might be a good idea to use something metal like I used the tip of that pencil to um, force the staples down so you don't poke your finger. Repeat that step on each section. You can put two or three staples in each section, whichever you feel is right for your book. Then you're gonna clip the sections together so that they are nice and tight. I used a binder clip on each end. You could also use a book press, or if you don't have a book press, you can kind of press the sections together between two heavier books like encyclopedias. Now at this point, you'll wanna go ahead and plug in your hot glue gun so it can get hot and melty. And then you're gonna to wanna to cut a ribbon to the size or, or length of your spine. So I've got this little blue ribbon and it's just long enough. Okay, I'm ready, my hot glue gun is hot and I'm going to be hot gluing the folded side, the stapled side of my pages to this little ribbon. I'm gonna start by just sort of zigzagging across maybe about an inch of the spine with hot glue and then I'm gonna carefully lay the center of my ribbon on top of there. Be very careful as you're pressing down here, I just used my finger, but it could be quite hot so you might prefer to use some other tool to press that down for you. Like later on, I started to use my scissors to sort of press that down just so it wouldn't ooze out and burn me. Just continue doing this in little sections about a, an inch at a time until you've gone all the way across the spine of the book. Uh, and also in the middle, my spine sort of bowed out. So you can see me sort of pinching those pages together because I want my book to have a really compact spine. Another thing you might have noticed is that my ribbon is a little bit wider than my spine. So you'll notice as I'm going along, I'm sort of pushing the edges down along the sides of the pages. I didn't really add hot glue on those sides because I figured that some of the hot glue from the spine would sort of ooze over on the side. And as I looked at the sides more, I decided I wanted to use an iron to kind of smooth out the glue on the spine and also on the sides of the book where the ribbon sort of wrapped around the edge. Please, please, if you choose to do this, be very careful. I was not maybe doing this the smartest way because I was just holding the book with my hand. Um, I will show you later in the video a way you can sort of rig up a little station to hold your book for you in a little bit of a safer way. And also using the iron is optional. You don't have to do this really at all, but it is a way you can sort of remelt the glue and smooth out or finish up some edges. Okay, so I mentioned that I was gonna show you a way to do that ironing bit a little more safely. So this is um, two kind of like art history books that I have of the same size, and I put just like a front cover and back cover up against my little page section here, and I'm clipping it in so that it's sort of like clamped in there, it's nice and tight and the book is sort of holding it up like that. Now later on I went and I put a couple of boxes on either side which really made it stand up nicely. And that way you can run your iron across the top and it's standing up without you having to hold it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, you've got your pages done, the, they're bound together, the spine is nice and clean with a little ribbon on there. Later I'll make another video showing you how to make a cover and how to attach the cover to the pages. Thanks a lot and enjoy your project.